All right, have a good day. See you later. Oh. No. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of foam. Yeah, I really went out and bought every piece of foam possible. Thankfully, a foam shop sold a bunch of samples, so I was able to buy them in one big old bundle. I got the inspiration from a recent video by Keyboard. He found that by using a thinner piece of foam, he was able to draw out more thought from the board overall. And by adding more foam and thicker pieces, it became more clacky. Here's just a snippet from his video. Thinner foams work to reduce higher frequency sounds. Thicker foams work to reduce low frequency sounds, so thock. If you shove lots of thick foam or layers of foam into your keyboard, you're essentially reducing the deeper end of sound. So you get a small thock. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That makes a ton of sense, but he covered the thickness of the foam and not the material. What about the type of foam? So that's what I'm here to investigate, and I hope you stick around to find out what I found out. We'll be using my Gamma K LK67 with stock Echo Jelly Blacks and Haywood PBT keycaps. Unfortunately, my Zoom 65 won't be here for another month, so we'll just have to see that video in the future. The goal here is not to make the thockiest or clackiest build. I'm just testing the different sounds each type of foam provides. Now I'm going to have to take this board apart more than 10 times today, so if you want to see more content from me and have the empathy in your heart, please hit subscribe. Now I do have to quickly talk about today's sponsor, Eastwind. Eastwind is an upcoming storytelling animation using The Sims and Blender created by WST2. The story is based on a city filled to the brim with magic and high society life. You'll find the best schools, businesses, real estate, and probably not the best people. But hey, you have everything else. The first season follows the story of Esther, a student at Eastwind University, as she navigates a new semester of school and the adventures that come with it. I'll drop a link to the channel in the description. For today's foams, we have a Lux, Super Lux, a Standard Charcoal, Rebonded, which is kind of like a bunch of foams put together, Egg Crate, what you normally see in your studio if you're recording, Charcoal Firm, this one I haven't seen before, Dry Fast, which, um, we're going to see how this performs. This is, might be an underdog. Super soft, which you'd see in most seat cushions. The most exciting one, Gel Memory. HD23, your standard poly. And HD36. Now I could sit here all day and pull off these keycaps, or I can snap my fingers. Don't you wish you could do that? And I could take off each switch, but I can also snap my fingers for this too. I'll be removing any variables for this, including the two rubber sound dampeners for the space bar. And I also modded this keyboard with another one of keyboard videos, of course, by clipping out the middle standoffs. This creates a top mount mounting style. Oh, and this perfect tape mod. I'll try and save it for next time. And if you look closely, there is foam in between the plate and PCB. Again, I'm just testing to see if each material produces a different sound, not the perfect sounding keyboard. Finally, I gotta remove all this EVA craft foam. If you wanna hear the sound test for this one, I'll drop a link in the description. Now that everything is finally coming together, I wanted to try and take the sound test a step further. I found a plugin for OBS called Box and Go Span. It will display the frequencies being hit in a readable format. Without further ado, it's time for the sound tests.
Okay, all right, I'm not gonna lie. It took me several listens to really hear the difference. There were three standouts in my opinion. First, Memory Gel, which almost acted as an overall sound dampener and made for a quieter board overall. Based on a lot of forms, the reason Memory Gel works so well is it's more of a linear sound absorber, meaning it'll absorb sound across the entire spectrum and reduce reflection, giving it a more muted sound. Second, the Super Soft, which beat Poly and really brought out the low end of the board. The last one I'd say is Super Lux, which was slightly less deep than the Super Soft, but still up there. I'll be putting the board back together with Memory Gel, including the tape mod. I think I'll keep the PCB foam out for now. The fact the majority of these foams sounded the same kind of tells us something interesting. There are a few types of foams that might make the sound slightly different, but when it comes to sound absorption, material and shape is more important. As I was doing some research for purchasing foam, I found the majority of soundproofing companies offer their foam in different shapes and densities. And this was even more interesting. Quote, with smooth panels of foam, sound can actually be reflected rather than absorbed. So I believe the bigger impact on anything will be the size and thickness, even though some materials can play a role. So go ahead and slap some packing foam in there. Just cut it thin and maybe make sure it's not flat. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Catch you all in the next one.